Good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon. Um, I'm coming here with the LeBron 8 versus LeBron 9 comparison. I feel as though I need to do this. You know, yesterday was like sluggish day, but I had to do that review. So, you know, please stay interested. Try to. Um, the LeBron 8, the, you know, kind of beat down, worn out, tore down, twisted, doorknob. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got your, your traditional fly wire on the side, your black Nike swoosh, thick Nike swoosh. Um, you got your, your soft leather-ish. And I don't think we can call this a sole anymore. You know, bottom of the shoe is like worn out. My lion turned brown. The, the lion symbol on the shoe. The LeBron logo right there. And the lion logo right there. Um, this was a good shoe when I first got it. But, um, yeah. It's, really not worth much at all now you got your little holes on the side it's like you got your 180 your 360 air max i should say going around the whole entire shoe yeah this no good no good shoe ta-da who got dishes um, I do. Make sure the fish be washed so I can, uh, Cook. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, that was my dad. Um, yeah, you got your, uh, your 3M Nike swoosh on the side. You got your red normal Nike swoosh on the side. You, uh, got some carbon fiber right up in there. Yeah, Air Max 180 on the side. And you have your Nike Zoom. On the bottom, you have the chain link design on the bottom of the shoe. And you have your white LJ logo. You have half the lion head. I don't have the other shoe with me, it's upstairs, but. There's half of the lion head, if you can see it. And, oh, this is, by the way, the Miami Heat's away colorway. You have your ankle cushions on the side, on the inside of the shoe. Have your little zipper with the, um, the word nine spelled out on it. It's kind of hard to see on camera. You have your LJ logo in the back. Got your signature, LeBron signature, right here on the front of the shoe. The uh, LJ logo right here on the shoelace, the shoelaces. And on the tips of the shoelaces, you have the signature on it. This overall is a very comfortable shoe. I mean, I would recommend it to most basketball players and for people who just want to use them for walking around or to use them for clothes, to go with your clothes whenever you go out. I mean, it's a LeBron's fan's best sneaker, and it's a Kobe fan's worst nightmare, I would say. The Kobe 7s, I'm not really interested in those, but I may pick up a pair just so I could do a review on them. Let you guys know how they feel, what they like. So, um, yeah. This is Keith Lane. Um, subscribe comment and 
the box down there. Like the video. Tell your friends about it. Um, use my video as a reference if you ever want to pick up a pair of the LeBron Nines at Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champ Sports, House of Hoops, or anywhere. You know, use my video as a reference and uh, leave me some stuff. You know, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I've been gone for a long time, so you know, I think I think it's best for y'all to just leave me some stuff. You know, help me out. And uh, yeah, I'll be coming to y'all next week maybe with a new video. Hopefully on the KD fours. I mean, next week is my birthday, so. I might get a pair of KD fours, so you know, hit me up, guys. You know, comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends, follow me on Twitter at Keith Lane. Uh, the little dash, the you hit the shift button, then you hit the dash, and the number five, and follow me on Twitter. All right, y'all, I'm out.